Okay, so the new project that we're gonna do is pixel, pixel explosion. So here's some examples from the past. You can get an idea of how you wanna take your photo. You can do standing posed. It can be three quarter body shot. Um, and actions are really great for this project. So if you wanna make some kind of movement or action, it's really great. Um, if you kind of plan that out ahead of time before you start the Photoshop portion. So you want to get a really nice base photo. Again, action, an action shot is great for this. If you know the direction you're going in, it's just going to turn out better. Okay, so on to Photoshop. Uh, I'm going to use um, this photo of Sanaja that I have here. And... Um, the first thing that we're going to do, um, you're used to doing this for the most part, is you're going to select your subject. So I like to start out with the object selection tool and make a rough selection first by just drawing a box around the subject. So this does a pretty good job and it would have done a better job if my model had a different color on against that black background because I'm working with black and black, it makes it a little more difficult. Um, at this point, I then like to switch to the quick selection tool to clean it up. Again, you can use the selection tool of your choice. So I'm just going to, um, it's on plus, which plus is add to selection, minus is subtract from selection or take away from selection. So I'm just going to, I'm toggling to minus using the option key on a Mac or the alt key on a PC to clean up my edges. As always, a great um, selection to begin with will make your project so much better. Hair is gonna be a little tough. Okay, now I'm gonna get these, make us smaller and get these inside areas clicking and dragging because the quick selection tool um, basically paints a selection. I'm just taking my time. This is really tough in here because it is a black background and a black sweatshirt. And we got a couple more. It always helps if you zoom in in these tough areas. Clicking and dragging. And, whoops. Okay, I think we're pretty good now. You can always t go back and tweak it if you need to. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do, um, I'm gonna go up and we're going to basically be putting this selection on a new layer like we've done many times in the past. We're just gonna do it a little bit of a different way. So we're going to do layer, new, layer via copy. So this is just a new way to do it. So when you do that, you're going to notice if I hide my background layer, you have, we have now eliminated, um, we have now put Sanaja on her own layer. Now I'm looking at the hair and I'm going to go back and clean that up. Um, so I'm going to step back and then I'll pick back up one, with the directions once I've cleaned it up. Okay, so once you've cleaned up your selection and you're satisfied with it, what we're going to do is we're going to fill in our background layer with a solid color. So we're just going to do... Um, Go ahead and hit D on your keyboard, and then we're going to do, um, shortcut, command, delete. If you're on a PC, the shortcut is control, delete. So you hit D on your keyboard to set your foreground and background color to default um, black and white. And then you're going to do command, delete, or control, delete on your keyboard. And that's going to fill in the background layer with the background color, which in this case is white. 
So now um, for the next part, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be um, we are going to be duplicating this layer. So what we're going to do, well, we're going to be duplicating layer one. So we're going to basically do Command J. So we're going to have layer one. So this is going to be um, model one, and then we're going to have model two. So on your model one layer, which is the one that's underneath, what we're going to do, this is going, we're going to free transform it or expand it to, um, and this is going to be the parts that are flying off into your background. So this is going to be the pixels that are flying off of your subject. So I'm actually going to do a couple of things here. So I'm going to do free transform, edit, free transform. And now I'm going to stretch out Samaja and make her larger. And I'm going to move her a little bit to the right, hit the check mark. And then on my model two layer, which is the layer in front, I'm going to grab the move tool and shift Samaja over a little bit. Okay, so as I'm planning this, my pixels are going to be flying off and they're going to be going kind of in this diagonal direction off of her. So for the next part, we're going to be adding a layer mask to both um, of these layers. So to do that, you're going to come down to the bottom of the layer panel and you're going to click on the little rectangle with the circle, the add layer mask button. You're going to do the same thing for model one and model two layer. So at this point, it should look like this. Okay, so we're doing good. And now what we're going to do is we are going to want to hide the bottom layer. So in order to do this, we're going to use shortcut option or alt and delete that will take and fill in with our foreground color. So as long as you're on the default, which is black and white, your foreground color should be black. And again, that shortcut was command, or I'm sorry, let me not confuse us all. It was option delete on the Mac or alt delete on the PC. And when I do say delete, I do mean the backspace key, okay? So now that copy is still there. It's just hidden momentarily with this layer mask. Okay, so now on to the next part. This next part, is the pixelization part it can be a little confusing um, you might need to fill this back in um, the layer mask with white and black and do it a couple of times until you get it right but it, that's not a big deal okay so now we're going to be basically um, choosing our brush that we're going to use so we're going to do um, grab our brush tool shortcut for the brush tool is b in order to find the brush that we're going to use, you're going to select the brush tool, then you're going to click on the menu, and you're going to go to the little gear in the top right-hand corner. You're going to go down to where it says Legacy Brushes. When it says, or when you get the message that says Restore the Legacy Brushes brush set to the list of brush presets, you're going to click OK. Now that will add <clears throat> the Legacy Brush folder here. So then you just have to scroll down your menu. You can even pull this down so you can see more at one time until you find your folder called Legacy Brushes. You're going to click to open it and scroll down until you find, these are all in alphabetical order, these are all the old brushes Photoshop used to come with. And now you're going to find where it says Square Brushes. You're going to click to open the Square Brush folder and go ahead and select any one. There are just squares, so just go ahead and select one. I'm just going to select maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to do a 12 pixel one. Actually, I'll go 16 pixels to start with, and then you, you'll adjust it so it's not a big deal, whichever size you choose. Okay, so after you have pulled that up, now we're going to make some adjustments. <clears throat> We've selected our brush, now we're going to make some adjustments to it. 
So we're going to pull up our brush settings panel. So any panel that's not out can always be found under window in alphabetical order. So you're going to pull up your brush settings. Okay, so it opens over here. Now we're going to be customizing our brush. Um, we're going to be playing with the scattering and to make it look like pixels. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on scattering. And right here where the scattering is, we're going to type 1,000. For our count, we're going to put 1. And for our count jitter, we're going to put 100. Um, for shape dynamic, right here, the first one, we're going to click on where it says shape dynamics, and we're going to put 90 for this one. Okay, so it's just going to give it a little more variety. Okay, so now we are done. Down at the bottom, this shows you a preview of what your brush looks like. Now, side note, you can actually save customized brushes that you've created here. You would just click on this menu and you could do new brush preset. You can do this just to practice if you want to. Square, I'm going to call this square um, pixel scatter brush. Um, so you can do that and um, if you ever want to create a brush and save it. So now what we're going to do, I collapse that, pad that panel down. Now on our top layer, we're going to click on our layer mask, which is our white. And we're to be, when we're working on our white mask, we're going to make sure that we use black. So I'm going to adjust the size of my brush using the bracket keys. And then this is the part you might have to do a couple of times and it's gonna vary depending on um, kind of your preference. Everybody else will be different. So you're gonna drag your brush over your model and that's gonna take away the pixels. Okay, so I did that. I don't like that, it's kind of huge. So I'm gonna step back much larger than I was expecting. So I'm going to go back, make my brush smaller, and try again. Clicking and dragging. Okay, I like that better. Clicking and dragging. Let's do some more. Now I'm going to shift to the black layer mask right below, and I'm going to hit X to flip-flop. So now I am using the white brush on the black mask. And I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm dragging off of my model. This was the one that was underneath or behind. And so you're going to see the pixels coming off. Now again, so let's just say that I don't like this. I can fill this in with black and redo it again. So the shortcut to fill in from my background color is Command Delete. So I set that up so I can try it again. I'm going to go get the charger to plug it in before I lose battery power. So we're going to try it again. I get this part again. Take some trial and error sometimes. So I'll, I have my white brush on my black layer mask and I click and drag and click and drag until you are happy with it. Now, if you want um, more control over it, and like now I'm kind of wanting just to go over and get rid of some of the top ones, I'm gonna just switch to a regular brush here under my general brushes. And I'm gonna um, just get rid of some of this. So I'm using black now. And I'm just kind of, just taking a little bit away here. Okay, once you're happy with it, now we're going to add a couple more things. Okay, on this Model 1 layer, we're going to add a layer. Uh, we're going to add a drop shadow. So you're going to play around with the settings a little bit. you're satisfied you don't want it to be um, 
too obvious, just a subtle little edit. And then you can also go ahead and you can um, copy those that layer style to um, the layer above it by holding down Option and clicking and dragging. So that's the a easy way, or if you're on a PC, the shortcut is Alt. So you just hold down Option or Alt and grab the um, layer effect and it will copy to the other layer. So I just did that. Now what we're gonna do is um, we're on the model one layer, we're gonna add a little bit of a, um, like a wind effect to it. So we're gonna do, um, it's under filter, filter, stylize, wind. And then you can see, you can alter the direction that they're going in. So you can move this over so you can see. You can play around, that's very dramatic, that's the wind. You can go left, right. So I'm gonna have these going from the left and then I'm gonna ha go ahead and click okay. So now it kind of looks like it's pulling off and I'm gonna to go um, to Google and we're gonna find a background. So type whatever you like, whatever you think will look good. I'm gonna do like some kind of techy background here. I think that'll look nice. Remember to check your pixels. You wanna be in the thousands or close to. So I brought it in on another tab, so I'm just gonna select all, Command A, then I'm gonna copy, edit copy, I'm gonna bring it in and paste. I'm on my background layer, please make sure you're on your background layer. Um, now I'm gonna free transform, Command T, and this is where you're gonna kinda spin it around and enlarge it and see if you like what you um, came up with and of course you can always change it okay so I'm liking that but I'm still not kind of liking these pixels up here so I'm gonna tweak those a little bit again so I'm gonna go back to my layer mask I've got my brush I'm on black and I'm just gonna paint over some more. So this is something you can continue to alter and I want you guys to kind of start doing that until you're really happy with your projects at this point. Okay, I'm liking that a lot better. Um, so now what I'm gonna do, um, okay. we're going to flatten it, layer, flatten image, and then file, save as. 